here we have the current stock market update for D-Wave Quantum Incorporated, stock ticker QBTS. Before we begin with today's chart analysis, if you find these educational materials to be helpful, please remember to click the like and subscribe buttons and leave your thoughts below in the comment section so that other traders can find this information more easily on the platform. So we're looking at the one hour time frame. Each candle represents a one hour trading period. And as we can see, the stock is really starting to flatten out here at somewhat uh, subdued levels, I guess you could say. Uh, we're really trading at sort of the midpoint of this prior, you know, large trend rally that has been seen here. And this really does sort of, you know, in, in my view, this really does look like a, an inflection point uh, longer term for the stock. Because as we can see, uh, you know, we saw this major movement higher. And then, you know, we obviously saw a large decline. Uh, we saw a little bit of upside uh, price movement here. And then since then, it's really just sort of trading sideways. So in my view, what this really looks like is, you know, it's a bit of a period of indecision here. I think the market really doesn't know what to do with itself because the reality of the situation uh, with these quantum computing stocks is that we're really not trading on fundamentals. We're trading on, you know, something that might occur in the future, businesses that might grow in the future. Uh, we really don't have any commercial applications at the moment. And, uh, you know, a lot of this was driven by hype. I mean, we did see a lot of upside price movement in a very short period of time. And this was also followed by a reversal. And so the real question is, you know, are we basing here for uh, possibly another run higher? I mean, you could make that argument. You could say that, uh, you know, you're, we're possibly forming a base at these levels. And then, you know, we're sort of uh, getting ready for uh, what might be considered to be a new higher high or something along those lines. Uh, if this is true that, you know, it's, val it's a vi valid, viable argument here because in that type of situation, you would be forming a, a higher low a bit of a support zone that's that's higher than where we were previously and then that would sort of give you a launching pad for this next movement in the in the upward direction uh, however you know the alternative way of looking at this would be that uh, you know we simply we had a large movement uh, in the upward direction and then you know the market got ahead of itself there was a lot of hype this wasn't really driven by fundamentals and then we saw a major major spike lower uh, and then, you know, we, we sort of based here a bit and then, you know, possibly we return right back where, where we were to begin with. So which, which side is the correct argument here? Well, in some sense, you can say, you know, you can point to this recent movement here, and this is going to seem very minor, I think, but we can point to this recent spike higher right here. And we can say that, you know, we, when the market does look like it's trying to push higher a bit here, uh, we did break through some resistance levels. In addition to that, the stock did move above its exponential moving averages. Uh, you know, you can say that the stock is maybe attempting to grind higher here. But one thing that might be a bit worrisome for people that have long positions is the fact that the stock did move back into this prior uh, gap trading range here. As we can see during, during this major movement lower, there was a major price gap that was created. And when the stock did move back into that area, you know, in many cases, you will see that gap filled. Uh, that did not occur in this case. We did see this movement into this area, into this gap region, and then we reversed immediately lower. So to me, just on the basis of these, this chart history from a chart perspective, I do think that we're actually just sort of basing out here. And then I do think that the downside actually will wind up prevailing here. Now that's, you know, a lot of speculation is involved in this, but that's true in both directions uh, because these companies simply are not trading based on fundamentals at the moment. So is it possible that a lot of enthusiasm can return to these stocks and we, when we start to see new movements higher? I, I suppose it is possible. However, at this point, I would say that that the most likely scenario is being seen in the downward direction. So if we just quickly take a look into the momentum just to get a sense of where the indicator reading currently rests, what we can see here is that this prior trend movement that was seen in the positive direction clearly broke to the downside. Now on the other end of the uh, discussion, you know, you can point to the fact that this negative trend momentum movement was also broken. So you could sort of say, well, it's one for one. Uh, this sort of equalizes the situation, uh, really doesn't favor one direction more than the other. But the reality here is that this longer term trend momentum reading was much more difficult to break. This short term uh, bearish momentum has a very, this, this trend line here has a very steep slope. And this is the type of trend line that's very easy to break. It doesn't take very much of an upside price movement here uh, to break through this type of uh, trend line because as we can see we were actually trading below uh, the midpoint of the histogram so that's the middle point here is this dotted line and the relative strength index broke above this downtrend line 
in the lower half of the relative strength index reading. So, you know, it didn't, the, the, the RSI itself, the stock didn't even need to move into these upper regions in order to break that downtrend line. So essentially what I'm saying is that this downtrend line was much easier to break uh, than this one. In other words, breaking this line was a much more uh, larger accomplishment. It was a much more uh, difficult thing to do as opposed to breaking this trend line here. So I'm much less impressed with the fact that this downtrend line broke. So if this bearish outlook is correct, what we do need to start to take a look at will be whether or not the stock breaks below its exponential moving averages during tomorrow's trading session. If this is the case, the next major of, of, of uh, support comes in right around 525, uh, this 523 area here. And then from there, it would be a retest of this, these lows at $3.74. To the top side, if we do see a break of uh, roughly $7.11, the next, the next level to watch is at the top side. The next, uh, the next potential resistance zone would be seen at nine dollars and twenty cents. Looking into some of the more advanced forms of analysis that we use in the members-only Discord trading room, what we can see on the thirty-minute price chart is the development of two different bullish harmonic patterns that are being seen for this stock. So it's a little bit difficult to see these because they do overlap. Uh, but this uh, smaller pattern here, this lighter pattern is a bullish cipher pattern. And then this larger pattern uh, is a uh, bullish bat pattern. And as we can see that this has led to some upside price movement here uh, for share prices. Uh, we have actually moved into that plus two standard deviation. As we can see here, uh, this is a you know, a, a strong, a strong movement here to the top side. But then since then we have started to, to top out a bit and started to move lower. Now there is still a possibility that we could move into somewhere around 763, uh, 772 perhaps, uh, before we see uh, these, these price uh, structures start to uh, complete themselves. However, uh, you know, the real question at this point is whether or not the uh, momentum is going to hold up in the positive direction. And if we uh, sort of zoom into the MACD reading, what we can see here is that uh, that moving average convergence divergence itself is starting to move lower and we're now starting to cross below the zero line and there is a lot of room here to extend to the downside as we can see so uh, this really doesn't look like a very uh, bullish positive strong scenario here uh, really does look more, much more likely that the stock is ready to start to move lower so uh, not necessarily impossible for for share prices to see another rally here but uh, I do I do think that this stock is probably you know in, in the midst of a uh, more of a larger reversal here uh, into the downside direction after those uh, prior rallies. So here's the current stock market update for D-Wave Quantum, stock ticker QBTS. Our high value trading strategies membership is currently available for a limited time for only $9.99 per month. These high conviction investment strategies are characterized by superior risk to reward metrics that target massive market beating returns over time. Join now to outperform the market Lock in this special introductory rate of just $9.99 per month for the entire lifetime of your membership and start trading stocks with the pros.